in this video i explain uh, i will show the uh, calculation of uh, dc distributed fed at one end concentrated loading okay so um, this is a ab ab is a dc distributor that is fed at one end k at a so that is a dc distributed fed at one end and uh, c d e f are the different points in the distributor ab and i1 is the current which draws from point c i2 is the current draws from point d i3 is the current which draws from e Finally, I4 is the current which is drawn from F. R1, R2, R3. Small R1 is the resistance along the session AC. R2 be the resistance along the session CD. R3 be the resistance along the session DE. R4 be the resistance along EF. Concentrated loading means the tapped current such as I1, I2, I3, I4 are not equal. Okay, All the tapped current are different. Okay, I1, I2, I3, I4 are not equal. Okay, now coming to the current, uh, the total current at point A or total current fed from the point A. Okay, so that is equal to current at A equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Okay, you can see the current from point A that is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Now coming to the current at AC. What is the current at AC? The same. Okay. Current at AC equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. So you can see the current at section AC. I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Then you just calculate the current at session CD. Okay. What is the current at CD? That is equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. So current at section CD equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. Then current at DE. Current at DE equal to I3 plus I4. So current at DE. You write I3 plus I4. Then current at EF. EF is equal to I4. So current at EF equal to I4. Now coming to the voltage drop calculation. The voltage drop along the session AC. Okay. So, general equation of voltage drop equal to current into resistance. So, we have already calculated current in the session AC. What is it? That is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. And R1 be the resistance along the session AC. So, what is the voltage drop along AC? That is R1 into, that is R1 into I1 plus I2. Voltage drop in section AC R1 into I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Similarly, you calculate voltage drop in each session. So, voltage drop in session CD. What is it? The current in CD into R2. So, current in CD equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. So, voltage drop across CD equal to R2 into I2 plus I3 plus I4. Then coming to the DE. Okay. So, resistance at DE equal to R3, current at DE equal to I3 plus I4. So, the voltage drop along DE equal to R3 into I3 plus I4. Then, last session EF. Okay. So, resistance at EF equal to R4, current in EF equal to I4. So, voltage drop along EF equal to I4 into R4, I4 into R4. Then, total voltage drop along AB. Total voltage drop along AB. Okay. Total voltage drop along AB equal to you sum up all the drop in the uh, sessions. Okay, so total voltage drop equal to voltage drop along AC plus voltage drop along CD plus voltage drop along DE plus voltage drop along EF. Okay, so that is the total voltage drop along AB. Okay, so we can write total voltage drop equal to total voltage. Okay, total voltage drop in a distributor AB equal to you sum up all the voltage drop that is R1 into I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 that is the voltage drop in AC then plus R2 into I2 plus I3 plus I4 that is voltage drop in CD plus R3 into I3 plus I4 that is voltage drop in DE plus R4 into I4 that is voltage drop in EF. So that is the to total voltage drop along the distributor. 
at fault the uh, distributed fed at one end of uh, uniformly loaded condition thank you